beautiful day outside. Isn't it, Jonas? Uh huh. Perfect day to just sleep, I think. Or read. Maybe read first. Got a genius idea to uh, cook some rice. But the problem is, is that no longer do we have a kitchen. But I still have, let's see, uh, still have like an entire bag of rice. Well, you know, like a little less than a kilo. And I don't know what to do with it. But I had an idea. So what I'm going to do is boil it. But I don't have anything to boil it. And then besides, this wonderful water cooker. So how do you boil rice in a water cooker, you may ask? That's a very good question. And the first answer, you need something to put it in in order to put it in there to boil. And the only thing I have that will hold it are socks. Now for clarification, this sock has never been worn. It is completely new and uh, I, it shouldn't affect, shouldn't affect flavor in any way. So I'm going to turn on the, also while we're waiting for that to boil, I carved this wonderful butter knife. Well, it moves a little bit more than the water is now boiled, and it is time to enact the plan of putting rice to sock. Ah, better work. So, Alright, so now we're going to. Oh, I should probably wash the rice, right? Alright, so the rice has been washed, so now we're going to tie a knot in the top so the rice doesn't come out. Alright, first we're going to turn that on. We're just gonna slip it right, right in, slip it right in there. And then we need a weight on here in order to keep this always on. The powder should work, and if it doesn't, then I'll get like a Bible or something. And now we wait for 20 minutes. So I left the hot water cooker on because I had to go do some stuff. And um, it turns out it set off the fire alarm. The nice thing is that went off like pretty much right when the rice was cooked. Um, it it's pretty well cooked. Here, so yeah, that's the rice in the sock, and it is actually very tender, and uh, tastes pretty good. I also have sauce, so um, let's uh, empty the sauce. Put some sauce in it. That might have been a bit much sauce. That's okay. Um, stir it up with my trusty spoon. Now let's see how it. Uh, It's actually pretty good. Too much sauce, but it's pretty good. So in conclusion, uh, sock rice is a genius idea, and if anybody else tries to tell you that someone else came up with it, you can tell them that you heard it here from. This is like revolutionary. I should patent this product. I <laughs> Today is a good day. Toby, please explain what happened. Just to sum it up, you put rice into the sock. Yeah. Put the sock into the kettle. Yeah. And you boiled the water yeah. to boil the rice. Yeah. And the fire alarm went off. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. So I was walking around uh, Vetlanda, the place near where I'm staying, and then uh, all of a sudden, I saw that. That's not good. That's... It's finally springtime, uh, and one of the women here that works here had an old bike that apparently it was broken, but I fixed it because I do that kind of thing. And now I'm riding this wonderful bike and I told about this place called La Mosa. So I'm gonna see if I can find it. That is beautiful. Oh goodness. So my front tire is a little bit flat, which makes this whole situation a little bit janky. Because that happens when you uh, 
use a, a bike that's supposed to be broken. No.